So I didn't start realizing something was wrong until probably about two to three years before I retired. I started talking to other friends of mine were going through the same thing that I went through with the headaches, forgetfulness, the moodiness, you know, the memory loss. And then that's when I went into medical and there's a treatment facility up in Bethesda, Maryland, the NICO National Intrepid Center of Excellence that a lot of guys had been going to. Um, and I asked about going up there to be treated because I wasn't sure if I had a TBI or what was going on. So when I first, you know, when I sat down with the doctor and he showed me my MRI, it was kind of a relief to say, okay, this is what's happening to, or what has happened to me in the past. You're never gonna be 100% cured from a TBI, but there are steps you can do to mitigate the signs and symptoms and to live a better life. So yeah, it's definitely worth it to get help. It's definitely worth it to seek treatment and you're not weak for seeking treatment at all. The most dangerous thing about having a TBI and not knowing is, is what it could lead to. Um, it, could lead to uh, it could lead to suicide, it could lead to death, it could lead to depression, it could lead to destroying your family, it could lead down a very, very dark road. I, I think the biggest thing is the education, you know. The, the biggest thing, you know, is, is for the E1 out there to not think that this can't happen to them or to the 05 or the 06 that, hey, this can't happen to me. It happened, anybody can fall off a bike, anybody can be in a car accident, anybody can be in an explosion. So I think we owe it to our sailors to educate them about TBIs and, and what it could lead to.